right then, everyone's talking about electric cars these days. It's like the buzzword of the decade. You can't go anywhere without hearing someone rave about the latest electric vehicle or the newest charging station popping up in their neighborhood. It's like the whole world decided petrol was so last season. Remember when petrol stations were the lifeblood of our daily commutes? Now they seem almost nostalgic, like relics of a bygone era. Tesla, that Elon Musk bloke's company, they're leading the charge. It's not just about the cars, it's about the vision. Musk has this almost cult-like following, and his speeches about a sustainable future have people hooked. They've got those sleek, futuristic cars that seem to run on magic and unicorn tears. Seriously, have you seen the interiors? It's like stepping into a sci-fi movie. Touchscreens everywhere, autopilot features, and that minimalist design. It's all very cutting edge, and people are lapping it up. The excitement is palpable. You see folks taking delivery of their new electric cars with the same enthusiasm as kids unwrapping presents on Christmas morning. Test drives are turning into social media events. Governments are throwing money at electric car incentives like it's going out of fashion. Tax breaks, rebates, grants, you name it. They're making it almost irresistible to switch to electric. It's like they're saying, come on, join the future. Traditional car makers are scrambling to keep up, launching new electric models faster than you can say lithium ion battery. It's a race now, and everyone wants a piece of the pie. From compact city cars to luxury SUVs, there's an electric option for everyone. It's an electric revolution, and the internal combustion engine seems to be heading the way of the dodo. Imagine telling someone a decade ago that petrol engines would be museum pieces. They'd have laughed you out of the room. But hold on a minute. Not everyone's jumping on the electric bandwagon just yet. There's still a lot of debate and skepticism out there. Some folks are clinging to their petrol cars like they're family heirlooms. There's one big player who seems a bit hesitant, a bit like a grumpy old mechanic who doesn't trust anything newfangled. They're sticking to their guns, and it's causing quite a stir in the industry. That's right, I'm talking about Toyota. Despite their success with hybrids, they're not fully committing to the electric revolution just yet. It's a fascinating dynamic, watching one of the giants of the automotive world take a more cautious approach while everyone else is charging full speed ahead. Now, Toyota, they're like the reliable old Rover you had as your first car. You know, the one that might not have turned heads, but always started on a cold morning and never let you down. It was the car you could count on, the one that saw you through countless road trips, late night drives, and daily commutes. It was your steadfast companion, always ready to take you wherever you needed to go. It might not be flashy or exciting, but it gets you from A to B without any fuss. It's the kind of car that prioritizes reliability and practicality over glamour and speed. You might not get envious glances at the traffic lights, but you also won't be left stranded on the side of the road. It's a car that does its job, day in and day out, without any drama. They've built their empire on dependable, fuel-efficient cars, especially hybrids. Toyota's commitment to hybrids has been unwavering, and it's paid off. Their factories churn out these vehicles with precision and efficiency, ensuring that each car meets their high standards. Dealerships are stocked with a variety of models, each one promising the same level of reliability and fuel efficiency that Toyota is known for. Remember the Prius? That funny-looking thing that everyone made fun of? It was the butt of many jokes with its unconventional design and eco-friendly image. People laughed at its appearance and questioned its performance but those who took a chance on it found themselves pleasantly surprised. It was a car ahead of its time, paving the way for a new era of hybrid vehicles. Well, it turns out Toyota was onto something. The Prius became a symbol of innovation and environmental consciousness. It showed the world that you didn't have to sacrifice performance for sustainability. It became a favorite among eco-conscious drivers and celebrities alike, proving that you could be green and still get where you needed to go. The Prius became a global icon, proving that hybrids could be a viable alternative to gas guzzlers. It wasn't just a niche vehicle, it was a mainstream success. Cities around the world saw an influx of Priuses on their streets, each one a testament to Toyota's vision and innovation. It was a car that changed the game, showing that hybrids were here to stay. But here's the thing. While everyone else is going all in on electric, Toyota is still clinging to its hybrid guns. They're not ready to abandon the technology that brought them so much success. While other manufacturers are racing to develop fully electric vehicles, Toyota is taking a more measured approach. They're not ignoring the electric trend, but they're not diving in headfirst either. 
They're like that bloke at a party who refuses to dance, even when everyone else is busting a move. It's not that they don't know how to dance. They just prefer to stick to what they know. They're watching the electric vehicle revolution unfold, but they're not quite ready to join the dance floor. They're content to stand on the sidelines, confident in their hybrid technology. They've dabbled in electric cars, sure, but they've been slow off the mark. Their electric offerings are there, but they haven't made the same splash as some of their competitors. It's like they're testing the waters, dipping a toe in to see how it feels before committing fully. They're cautious, perhaps overly so, but they're not completely out of the game. They've even invested heavily in hydrogen fuel cell technology, which, let's be honest, is about as popular as a vegetarian sausage roll at a barbecue. It's a bold move, and one that could pay off in the long run, but for now, it's a niche market. Hydrogen fuel cells have potential, but they're not yet mainstream. Toyota is betting on a future where this technology takes off, but it's a gamble that hasn't paid off just yet. And then there was the whole BZ4X debacle. Toyota's first real attempt at a mass market electric car. And what happened? They had to recall the bloody thing because the wheels might fall off. I mean, come on Toyota, that's basic stuff. It was a PR disaster, like dropping your trousers during the Queen's speech. It made them look slow, out of touch, and maybe even a bit incompetent. All this has left people wondering, are Toyota being cautious, or are they just being stubborn? Are they backing the wrong horse in the race to electrify the automobile? Let's delve a bit deeper, shall we? Section 4. Akio's Engine. A rebellious roar or a wrong turn? Now, you can't talk about Toyota's strategy without mentioning the big man himself, Akio Toyota. He's the grandson of the company's founder, and he's got petrol running through his veins. He's a proper car guy. Loves racing, loves the roar of a well-tuned engine. And he's made it clear that he's not convinced by this whole electric car thing. He's argued that EVs are too expensive, that the technology isn't quite there yet, and that the environmental benefits are overblown. He's even gone as far as to say that the silent majority of people don't actually want electric cars. Now, whether you agree with him or not, you've got to admire his guts. In an industry where everyone's trying to outgreen each other, he's not afraid to speak his mind. Section 5, the global gridlock, Toyota's rivals hit the accelerator. But while Toyota's been busy playing devil's advocate, Toyota's rivals have been busy building electric cars. The automotive landscape is shifting rapidly, and the competition is not waiting around. Companies are pouring resources into research and development, pushing the boundaries of what's possible with electric vehicles. Engineers are working tirelessly, fine-tuning every aspect of these cars to ensure they meet the high standards expected by today's consumers. Volkswagen, Mercedes, Ford, they're all pumping out electric models left, right, and center. These companies are not just dipping their toes in the water, they're diving in head first. Volkswagen is committed to becoming a leader in electric mobility, with plans to launch dozens of new electric models in the coming years. Mercedes is equally ambitious, aiming to have a fully electric lineup by the end of the decade. Ford, too, is making significant strides with its popular Mustang Mach-E and the upcoming electric F-150 Lightning. Even posh brands like Bentley and Rolls-Royce are getting in on the act. These luxury automakers are known for their opulence and performance, and they're now bringing that same level of excellence to the electric vehicle market. Bentley has announced plans to go fully electric by 2030, while Rolls-Royce is developing its first electric car, the Spectre, set to debut in the near future. The shift to electric is not just a trend, it's a revolution that's sweeping across all segments of the automotive industry. It's like everyone's invited to the electric party and Toyota's the only one stuck at home, watching reruns of Top Gear. Now, Toyota's not stupid. They understand the importance of staying relevant in a rapidly changing market. The company has a long history of innovation, from the introduction of the Prius, the world's first mass-produced hybrid car, to their pioneering work in hydrogen fuel cell technology. But despite their past successes, Toyota seems hesitant to fully embrace the electric future. They know they can't ignore the electric revolution forever. The pressure is mounting from all sides. Consumers, governments, and environmental groups are all demanding cleaner, more sustainable transportation options. Toyota's leadership is well aware of these demands, and they're taking steps to address them. The company has announced plans to invest heavily in electric vehicle production, 
with a goal of selling 5.5 million electrified vehicles annually by 2025. However, their approach seems cautious, almost reluctant. They've announced plans to ramp up their EV production, but it all seems a bit half-hearted, a bit like they're just trying to appease the green lobby. While other automakers are making bold, decisive moves, Toyota's strategy appears more conservative. They're focusing on a mix of technologies, including hybrids, plug-in hybrids, and hydrogen fuel cells, rather than going all in on battery electric vehicles. This diversified approach has its merits, but it also risks diluting their efforts and sending mixed signals to the market. They're still hedging their bets, investing in hybrids, hydrogen, and even synthetic fuels. Toyota believes that a one-size-fits-all solution is not the answer to the world's transportation needs. They argue that different regions have different requirements, and a diverse portfolio of technologies is the best way to meet those needs. For example, in areas with limited charging infrastructure, hybrids and hydrogen vehicles might be more practical than pure electric cars. But this strategy also means that Toyota is spreading its resources across multiple fronts, which could slow down their progress in any one area. It's a bit of a confusing message, like they're trying to be all things to all people. On one hand, they're promoting their commitment to sustainability and innovation. On the other hand, they're not fully committing to the electric vehicle revolution that's sweeping the industry. This ambivalence could be a strategic move, allowing them to pivot as market conditions change. But it also risks leaving them behind as competitors forge ahead with clear focused strategies. But will it be enough to keep them at the top of the automotive pile? Only time will tell. Toyota has a strong brand, a loyal customer base, and a track record of success. But the automotive industry is in the midst of a seismic shift, and staying at the top will require bold, decisive action. The next few years will be critical for Toyota as they navigate this new landscape and strive to maintain their position as a global leader in the automotive world.